Hello friends, this video on triangles part 28 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 27. This example, the question says ABC is a triangle in which AB is equal to AC and D is a point on DC such that BC square is equal to AC into CD. We have to prove that BD is equal to BC. It's all a triangle, it's a triangle ABC. D is a point, so let's draw this point D here and then join BD. Now the question says AB is equal to AC. AB is equal to AC. Let's say this is X, AC is also equal to X. Correct? D is a point on BC says that BC square is equal to AC into CD. We have to prove that BD is equal to BC. BC BD is equal to DC, we have to prove. So if this is K. 1, this is k2, so we have to prove that k1 is equal to k2, like this, sorry, this is bd is equal to bc, this is k2, this is k2, so we have to prove k1 is equal to k2. How to prove this? What is the logic we can apply? The first thing we can see this from this, bc square is equal to ac into cd, you can see this is nothing but BC by BC by AC is equal to CD by BC. If you see the ratio of two sides are equal, given. So it looks like from this we can prove that a pair of triangle is similar. Correct. So from this, which pair we should take? If you see the side BC, this is BC by AC, this forms this bigger triangle. Right, if you join this BC, AC you get bigger triangle. It's going to CD by BC. CD is this and BC is this. This forms the same smaller triangle. So we have got two triangles. One is this big triangle, big triangle as I draw like this, ABC. So the triangle we're talking about is triangle ABC and triangle BDC. Correct? Two triangles we are talking about and we will try to prove one similar. We can do that because the sides are proportional and we will find one angle common or an issue. Now we are, even if you prove the triangles are similar, how to prove the sides are equal? If you observe carefully in this triangle, the bigger triangle if you see, this sides are equal, AB and AC are equal. Similarly, if you prove that AB and AC, ABC is similar to this triangle CBD. So if you prove that this small triangle is similar to big triangle, in the smaller triangle also then this side has to be equal. That is BD has to be equal to BC. Correct. So let's try to prove this. So BC by AC, this is BC, this is AC. So if I draw BC here and if I draw A here like this. Right, this triangle. So BC by AC is equal to CD by BC. So it's either CD or DC. Correct. It's of course we have done the last example. And then the triangle is CDB. So this has to be B. This has to be B. So we'll find exactly which triangle is similar. Actually. Now if you see, if you take this triangle, angle C is equal to angle D. No, not possible. Cancel this. So this is our triangle actually, right? Because BC by AC is equal to CD by BC and triangle angle C is equal to angle C. Correct? Angle C in this case, the smaller triangle is equal to angle C by construction. So they are similar. So we can say that in triangle BCA, correct? And DCB, we have BC by AC is equal to CD by BC given angle A is equal to angle A, construction by construction. So triangle BCA is similar to triangle DCB. Correct? Once they are similar, if you see, they are similar now. And in this triangle, if you see, 
AB is equal to AC. If AB is equal to X, AC is also equal to X. What is the value of BD? BD is what? BD is K1 and BC is what? K2. Now if you see, since both are similar, right? I can say that X by K1 is equal to X by K2. Correct? X, X in. So we get K1 is equal to K2. So if K1 is equal to K2, that means my BD is equal to BC. Therefore, BD is equal to BC. Hence P. Very simple. Just try to understand the approach we have followed. Since we are told that BC square is equal to AC into CD, we realize that using this we can prove that the triangles are similar. Then the next target was to find which two triangles are similar. From the side we found that these two triangles ABC and BCD are similar. But again BCD also right, they will create different versions by different orientation. So exact orientation we found using this way, BC by AC, so we created BC and AC like this. BC by AC was equal to CD by BC. So if this side is BC, this side it has to be CD. CD or DC because CD and DC is same. So I create DC or CD here. If I create DC here, this third point has to be B. So two options I have. Correct. Now, if I take this option, I found that C was not equal to D. So we can't say that BCA is similar to CBD. So I cancel this option. But if I take this option, I can prove that BCA is similar to DCB. So this is the triangle I was looking for. So I can prove that BCA is similar to DCB because the sides are proportional given and the angle is same by construction. Since I proved that both the sides, both the triangles are similar, in the first triangle, these two sides are equal. So in the second triangle, these two sides has to be equal. Let's take one more question. The diagonal BD of the parallelogram ABCD intersects the segment A at the point F, where E is any point on the side BC. We have to prove that DF into FE is equal to FB into FA. Let's draw parallelogram. This is the parallelogram and this is side ABCD. Now, the diagonal BD of the parallelogram. So let's draw the diagonal BD. Intersects the segment A at point F. So let's draw this E point any point on this BC, this is A and it intersects at point F. So my construction is clear, right? We have to prove that DF into FE, DF into FE is equal to FB into FA. So or we can say that DF by instead of into, we can say df by fb is equal to fa by ef correct df by fb is equal to fa by ef so the four the sides which are involved in this case is df right fb this side fa and yeah. So the two triangles which we can form from these sides are either this triangle, this is not possible, this triangle and this triangle. Correct? We can form this triangle also but it won't look good because we have to prove that they are similar. So to prove similar, if we take this triangle it will be difficult for us to prove similar. Here we can just directly say this angle is equal to this angle, this angle is equal to this angle and then prove it. So if you see the two triangles we take is this and this. That is FDA and FEB. Correct. So we will take FDA and triangle FEB. Now, to prove DF by FB, DF, if you take DF here, it is DF. Correct. It is DF. It has to be FB. So it is DFA. It is FB or BF. Correct. So it is BFE. 
So we will first find which triangle, which is the triangle. This or this. I, either of these is one option. Either it is BFE or FE. Do the orientation. So the question says DF by FB is equal to FA by EF. So if you take this one, you get FA by EB. FA by EB. But we are talking about FA by EF, correct? So we are talking about these two triangles. That is, let me write specifically D F A and triangle D F E in correct sequence D F A B F E all anti-clockwise direction. So if you see in this angle D is equal to angle B. Why? They are vertical opposite angle. AD is parallel to BC. So I can say that angle D is equal to angle B. This angle. This alternate angle. Also angle F is equal to angle F. This angle F is DFA is equal to angle EFB. DFA this angle is equal to angle BFE. Why? Vertical opposite angle. So angle DFA is equal to angle BFE. Why? Vertical opposite angle. So they are similar. Therefore, triangle DFA is similar to triangle BFE. Now if they are similar, we can say that if they are similar, I can say that DF by FB is equal to FA into EF or I can say that DF into EF is equal to FA into FB. See what we have done? Till this point we have followed the reverse engineering method. Till this point from here to here. This is something which you will have to do in rough form. We have first found what the question is asking. The question is asking us to prove DF by FB is equal to FA into EF. Then we found that these two, these four sides are part of these two triangles. Then we got two options. This one, if we draw, we got two pair of triangles, this or this. Then we realized actually that DF by FB is equal to FA by EF. Then this is the only possible triangle. In this triangle, we will not be able to prove. So we took these two triangles and we tried to prove that they are similar. Angle D was equal to angle B because of the alternate angle. Angle F was equal to angle F, the vertical opposite angle. So we can prove that they are similar. Once they are similar, we can prove that DF DF by FB is equal to FA by. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.